We're joined by the University of Illinois, head coach Brad Underwood, along with Marcus Damask and Luke Goody. We'll start with an opening statement from coach, then we'll take questions for Marcus and Luke, and then we'll come back to questions for Coach Underwood. Coach. Well, obviously, we're pleased with the outcome. It was a, um, uh, it was a tale of two halves. Um, it was um, uh, Nebraska and Fred have had just an incredible season, and they have so much respect for Fred. He's a dear friend, um, and uh, obviously, they played a little bit man down today with Wiltshire being out, um, but um, uh, it was um, a frustrating first half uh, just because I didn't think we had any pop. We didn't have any life. Uh, we, were, we, we looked like we were still in bed asleep, um, and uh, um, you know, my halftime wasn't about any X's and O's. Uh, it, was, it was animated, um, probably didn't want to check my blood pressure. Uh, but we had to find some life. And then it, it obviously didn't work because we had to call a quick timeout in the second half. Um, and then they responded. And uh, it was on them. It wasn't me. It was, it was all them deciding to play. And uh, that's who we can be in the second half. Uh, <coughs> I thought Luke and uh, uh, Ty were just unbelievable today with their, their offensive rebounding. Uh, I think they had 11, 11 of our, our 14 uh, impacted the game. Obviously, Luke made some balls, uh, which is absolutely great to see. He's been fighting some injury uh, with tendonitis in his knee and, and an ankle. Uh, you know, and then Marcus, you look down and it's 16, 8, and 7. Uh, you're talking almost uh, triple-double uh, type numbers. So, um, you know, you, you you sit here and you talk about a lot of things, and obviously Terrence breaks the tournament record. Uh, but um, the most important thing I hope our guys learn is, um, you know, it's it's a lose and go home, and we can't have first halves like we had today. Was the second half was was fun to watch this group play because we can be pretty good when we do that. Questions for Marcus and Luke. We'll start in the front here. Jeremy in the middle. This is for both you guys. Uh, Forty points is obviously a record. What's it like to have? Terrence Shannon on your team right now. Luke? Uh, I mean, it, it makes it easy on us, right? You get a defensive rebound and look for him in transition. That's basically the key to it. And when you have someone as gifted of a scorer and as gifted of, a, of an athlete that can get downhill um, and then still go five for nine for three, it's pretty special. So uh, when you got a teammate like that, all you can do is look for him. And, you know, he was able to knock down a bunch of shots tonight and uh, help our team win. Stay in the front, middle left. Marcus, obviously a little more comfortable tonight. Uh, you shot it better. What, what went into that, and how did you feel? It started that game maybe a little slow, but then you got into rhythm. Yeah, uh, it's just basketball. You know, whether you, you miss a shot, you make a shot, there's another possession. So the mindset is just next possession. How in this possession am I going to help my team win? So I try not to think about what I'm doing other than the next possession and, and how am I going to help my team. Go to the third row in the middle, Brian. Okay, so Luke, Coach, I obviously mentioned you've been battling some injuries here. So just how does it feel just to have a game like you had today? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, it's kind of just like, uh, you know, I've, I've said since I got to Illinois, it's just believing in the process. Um, anybody that's watched Illinois over the past month know it's been, um, you know, a lot of ups and downs, especially for myself. Um, but, you know, I just got to keep going and keep working hard in practice. Um, you know, I, f I feel like I've brought it brought in practice. And, uh, you know, to have a game like this, is uh, it was nice to have for sure, for the confidence. I'm excited to, um, you know, help the team in any way. And today it was, I was able to hit shots and get offensive rebounds. And that's what impacted it in, uh, in a winning way. So, um, you know, I was happy to do that and, uh, you know, give us an opportunity to win a championship tomorrow. Stay in the middle, third, third row left. Uh, coach said there wasn't a lot of X's and O's at halftime, but what changed defensively with giving up 52 in the first half and only 37 or so in the second? Did anything change scheme-wise for you guys? Marcus. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we started switching a little more with the, with the rink mass. And, and uh, in the first half, he got us a couple when he popped, and, and we were in our drop coverage. So we started switching a little more and not letting him get the threes. But I think it was more just a team effort than it was X's and O's. Front row, right side, Tyler. Yeah, for Luke. I know you had the four threes, but you also had four big offensive rebounds. Um, how, how does that impact you when you're hitting it on both ends of the floor like that? 
Yeah, well, one of the biggest plays, in my opinion, on the offensive end that you can do is offensive rebound. Um, usually, it leads to good things. Um, I can recall, too, that you know one was a Marcus wide open three that he was able to knock down, and another one led to a layup. So uh, when you can get second, opportunity, second chance opportunities on the glass, uh, you know, it, it's huge for the team, and it gives us another opportunity to score. So, you know, especially tie with seven, I mean, that's, that's big time. When you, when you can have two guys that combine for 11 offensive rebounds, you're doing some, some good things. So, um, you know, any way to impact the game and uh, that too. Back to Jeremy, front row. Luke, obviously, you've been a part of a Big Ten title team. This team's won this a couple years ago before you got here. What's it mean for this team to have a chance to, to get a banner tomorrow? Yeah, it means everything. Um, you know, I'll remember for the rest of my life when I will miss that last three in the corner we ran on the court. That's, that's going to be a memory that I remember for the rest of my life. You know, we have a ring to go with it, and that's what we play for. We play for championships. So to have the opportunity um, tomorrow to get another championship, uh, it's what we play for. It's what we work all summer for. It's what we work in the preseason for and throughout the whole season is to put ourselves in a position like this. And, uh, you know, we're excited for the opportunity. Third row, left middle. Uh, you guys shot a lot better from behind the arc in the second half. What did you see out there, and how did you adjust and shoot better? Luke. Can you ask that again? My, my fault. You said that. How did we shoot better? In the Shooting better in the second half. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, my, my fault. So we were... Uh, in the second half, or in at halftime, we, uh, we knew what they were going to do on defense. Um, you know, we were started running some actions that uh, put their defenders in um, a tough situation, long closeouts and stuff like that, and uh, we were able to move the ball. I think the second half we made quick decisions. Uh, we were able to swing the ball a lot faster and get way better looks, in my opinion. Um, you know, I, I remember a couple shots. Quincy got a wide open three late just from moving the ball. You know, I was able to get a couple looks. Marcus got a couple wide open looks. Um, you know, I think it was just the movement of the ball in the second half that really allowed us to step into those threes instead of taking contested, um, contested threes. Take one or two more for student athletes if anybody has one. All right, we'll go far right side. Now we'll Luke, finish with Jeremy. E even with uh, Terrence doing his thing tonight, just how, how important was it for guys like yourself and for Quincy to still be able to knock down shots down the stretch? Yeah, it's super important. Uh, when somebody can score that well, a lot of the defenders on the other team uh, will crowd the paint and do everything they can to stop them. When somebody has 40 points, I mean, you have to do something, right? So um, for us to step up and hit shots, uh, you know, Marcus 16, Quincy 13, um, I was able to hit some shots as well. I think that, that opens up the floor as well because now you don't have a bunch of guys that can uh, go into the paint on his drives. Um, transition, it opens up a lot of lanes for him because you can't have guys helping off of, you know, Quincy in the corner, me in the corner, um, situations like that. So I think it just works really well in itself. Front row, Jeremy. Marcus Terrence has 25 plus in eight of 11 games. Just your guy who can go off like that. What's that, what's that do for you guys as a, as a team? Uh, it just it helps with spacing, you know. When when you got guys that that can shoot as well as he does, everything opens up more for for everyone else. And then, um, you know, it just teams have to focus so much on getting back in transition against them, and I mean that's tiring. You know, teams don't want to sprint back every single possession. And Terrence, he's got a motor that he just keeps going. He doesn't get tired, so he just like little by little wears teams down. I mean, he drew ten fouls. Like, I mean, that hurts teams. Marcus and Luke, thank you. You can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with questions for Coach. If you have a question for Coach Underwood, please raise your hand and we'll get the mic to you. We'll start on the right side, front row, Tyler. Brad, similar, sim similar situation in the second half today. Early timeout in the first couple of minutes. Yesterday, you were pretty visibly upset. This, today, not as much. What was your message different compared to yesterday? At some, at some point, it's not me. It's, it's, they, they've got to want to do that um, you know you can't um, uh, this team has a has a lot of pride and and, and I challenged him at halftime uh, and then we didn't there wasn't much there and so I just sat there for a, a good little bit I didn't say much I didn't say anything and and you know at some point it's got to be their leadership take over Quincy Gurrier really stepped up that that became a happy huddle in terms of encouragement and, and so on and so forth and it's amazing how that worked for uh, worked for our team. But uh, you know, I didn't sub very much. Uh, I let those guys run for a long time, and um, boy, it was that was it was really encouraging to see because it's on them, and it wasn't it wasn't me. Yesterday was more me. T today was more them. Third row, middle. 
Coach, uh, uh, the Big Ten tournament's never seen something like what Terrence did today. Have you ever seen anything like what Terrence did today in your time coaching over the decades? I was very, very fortunate in that I coached Michael Beasley. And, and Michael Beasley is a freshman, average 26 and 12. So unfortunately, I saw Michael do that quite a bit. Um, I saw him do a, have an unbelievable game in Allen Fieldhouse uh, one night against uh, on, on big, big game. And uh, so I, I have, but that was pretty special today. I didn't realize he had that many. I mean, you get going just in, in, the, in the flow of the game, and, and we like the matchups, and, and uh, we put him in situations. And he, he you know, it was kind of a – just uh, it just fell into those things. It wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't strained. Front row, Jeremy. Brett, obviously, there's been a lot going on with him throughout the year. Can you put into context what his mindset has been throughout this to, to be able to play at, at this level? Great, great. He's handled it like a professional. He's he's he knows there's there's a um, serious situation out there. Um, he's he's been an unbelievable teammate. But he has been great. He has handled it. He's, his work ethic hasn't changed. Uh, it took him a little bit to come back because he's a great teammate. Uh, but um, uh, been very professional. Front row, Brad. Brad, you guys, um, second half, you're able to get in the paint. Nebraska doesn't, you know, they really leave a guy in the paint almost. And But you were still able to get to the basket. What would you change offensively to, to make that happen? And I think Luke and Marcus both mentioned it, ball movement. We got ball, but we quit. We 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 call what we what we do point five basketball, and that's making the extra pass. It hits your hand and it's out. And uh, first half we held it, and I bet half the time we reversed it back to the same side or threw it back to the same side we got it from. So we were driving it right back into the defense, and you know that's all we talked about literally at halftime and one of the timeouts. Just get rid of it, just and then you can drive it. And and we've got. We've got some guys who are good at driving it, driving mis mismatches, and I thought Ty and, and, and TJ were, were those two. I thought Coleman had some opportunities to do that, and um, that freed everything up. Take two more, Brian in the third row middle, and then we'll finish on the right. Uh, so, Coach, we see Ty Rogers this weekend just play, just refusing to lose. Can you just talk about just that importance for you guys, obviously, for this month? Yeah, it's nice to see him play well because he's been working his butt off in the gym. And, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's amazing how that works. You know, good things happen to those who work hard. And, and you know, he's, a, he's always a great teammate. He's guarding with intensity and purpose. Uh, but, you know, his rebounding has been, been phenomenal. And, uh, again, we made a, a change in the second half, putting him on the ball uh, and getting Marcus off of it. And, you know, he just got downhill and created some easy opportunities for himself as well. We'll finish in the third row, middle left. In the previous matchup, Coach, uh, Casey Tominaga had an amazing game shooting the ball. What did you guys do differently against him today to make sure he didn't get off against you guys again? Prayed. Um, I, he's, he's the one player in the country that um, – maybe the only player in, in this league that, I, that really gives me angst. And, and, and because you can guard him great – and it not matter. And we, we really guarded him very, very well um, in, in Champaign in the game. But uh, I think the one thing we wanted to do is make sure they were twos and not give him uncontested threes or, or, or blown assignment threes. And I thought for the most part, you know, again, Terrence had, you know, my game plan going in was to keep Terrence in on him all the time and not have to sub that. But uh, Again, shows why Terrence is, is really good. But uh, he's a terrific player. He's had a terrific season, and, and I'm glad we don't have to play him anymore. Thank you, Thank Coach. You. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll be joined by Nebraska.